Hello students, welcome to computer class. Here we are going to learn something more about computers. Last few years you have learned computer, correct? You have learned what are the parts, what are the uses, where it is used and everything, correct? Now you have learned this also that how computer works. Computer works basically in three parts, three functions that is input, process and output. Now what is input, what is output, what is process, all that we are going to learn. Now through which we are giving input that is called input devices or output devices means where we are going to get the result that is called output devices. All this we are going to learn in detail. But before that can you tell me computer is a single unit machine? No. Computer have, is having four different parts and many other parts also. But basically it is having four parts. Which are they? That is keyboard, mouse, CPU and monitor. All together is called a computer system. Correct. Now all these parts means like your mouse, keyboard and uh, monitor is attached to the CPU. CPU is called the brain of the computer and it is giving accurate result at the perfect time within no seconds. It doesn't require much time to do the process, do the calculation work. Correct. That's why it is called a smart machine and it is used everywhere. Now we are going to learn how the computer does it function, how it works which steps it takes while doing the function or while doing the process okay the information uh, it takes from the input devices that is through keyboard it gives that information or data uh, to the cpu inside the cpu the data or information is getting processed and it gives the result to the monitor that is output device here can you see keyboard is keyboard picture is shown that is input that is input device through this we are passing the information to the cpu inside the cpu the process is getting done okay and the cpu sends the result to the monitor that is the output device another name for monitor is a screen Correct. Now, basically means a computer system performs three basic functions. To understand this better, I will give an example. Okay. Suppose you want to make a mango milkshake. What you will do? Ah, many of you have tried in the vacation. Correct. Okay. Now we will see how to make mango milkshake. For making mango milkshake, you will require some ingredients like mango pulp, milk and sugar. And one more thing you will require the mixer grinder because in a vessel if you will mix all these ingredients it will not give you a nice milkshake. Correct? It will get, it should get churn, it should get mixed properly. For that we will need mixer grinder. So you will collect all the ingredients. You will put it in the mixer jar. You will switch on the power button, you will start the mixing and inside that mixer jar all the ingredients will start mixing. Okay. After getting mixed churn, your milkshake will get ready. From that mixer jar itself you will drink the milkshake? No. You will put it in a nice glass or cup or mug somewhere and then you will have it. Correct. So that is your output. Milk, your milkshake is the output. Ready milkshake is the output. Have you followed? Now in while making milkshake all the ingredients are input. That input you are passing it to the processing unit that is your mixer jar. After process is done that you are pouring in that milkshake you are pouring in a glass or jar through which means uh, uh, with which you can drink it correct so that is your output device 
all this is interlinked have you got it means basically three steps we followed input process and output in case of computer suppose we want to get done the calculation with the help of computer we want to do addition on computer what you will do you will type the numbers 20 and 30 and the plus sign that is 20 plus 30 these numbers you will type on the keyboard that data will get transfer to the CPU CPU will collect that data that addition it will get done that addition inside the CPU that is called process of the data correct the data is getting processed inside the CPU and from there it sends the result or that output to the output device that is your monitor or screen or sometimes we can get the output on the paper also through, through a printer have you followed this okay now in this chapter ahead we are going to learn what are the different input devices output devices and how the data is getting processed inside the CPU that also we are going to learn but before that for doing computer process all these three processes computer requires something that is called to do all this process that is hardware and software computer system work with the help of hardware and software now what is hardware what is software you must be thinking teacher is telling big big words how we are going to understand it wait don't worry I'll make you understand okay now what is hardware hardware means the physical parts of a computer that which we can touch or we can see that's it that is called hardware okay some examples of hardware are keyboard speakers CPU mouse printer all these are the examples of hardware which we can see okay which we can touch whereas what is software software is a set of instructions that helps the hardware to work in a desired manner have you understood anything I don't think so now to understand this better I'll give one example okay uh, have you seen the music system correct music system is a machine correct but if you will not put any CD or DVD inside it can you hear music or a song from that no not possible because the music or the song which is there on the CD <coughs> or DVD that is the software whereas the music music system itself is a hardware have you understood if you are having only CDs and DVDs if you don't have any music system where you are going to put those CDs and DVDs to play nowhere not possible can you have uh, 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 can you listen the nice music no can you enjoy that music or song no not possible vice versa suppose you are having only the music system you don't have any CD or DVD for music and a song something like that okay so can you again will enjoy the music or song no not possible because you doesn't have the CD on which songs are there or music is there so this <coughs> software and hardware are the interdependent things okay now for software we will see some examples of software that is paint application Microsoft Word Microsoft Excel anything which application uh, you are running on the computer or the operating systems okay these are the examples of some softwares but this hardware and software are the interdependent things okay now 
for this one more example i'll give nowadays uh, school going children also are having mobiles you must have seen mobile you must have worked on mobile correct but that handset is different and the sim inside the handset or the software android system on that mobile is different suppose you are having a sim and you doesn't have the handset to put the sim inside then it's of no use suppose you you will have a handset and you will not have a sim inside it so you you cannot use the mobile those things are interdependent dependent on each other without any one's uh, presence it will the other will not work this is called interdependent have you followed this see hardware and software are also interdependent without software a computer cannot work similarly if the hardware is not there the software is of no use understood okay now we are going to learn some detail things about uh input devices but before that we will see that the main uh, components which carry out the basic operations of computers are keyboard mouse cpu and monitor apart from this some more parts we require those are called peripherals like microphone is there speaker is there printer is there okay all this we require now among this through which we can provide data or information to the computer those are called input devices okay this input devices the devices which through which we enter data and instructions are called input devices now we are going to learn some of these input devices in this chapter but for input devices again i will uh, revise you for this now whatever information we are giving it to computer that it takes through input devices it processes that data or information inside the cpu and it gives the result to the output devices that is monitor now here in this sentence only i mentioned keyboard is a input device whereas monitor is a output device apart from keyboard there are some more devices that is mouse scanner barcode reader light pen digital camera web camera touch pad all these are the examples of input devices through these devices we are providing data to the computer okay so in this chapter beginning of this chapter we have learned that computer works basically in three different functions okay that is input process and output and we have learned what is hardware and software correct now hardware and software are interdependent things and now we are going to learn input devices in detail each device we will learn uh, in detail in this following chapter okay then revise everything learn everything okay then i'll stop it here okay bye